Star polygons. This video demonstrates how to determine how many star polygons there are with 10 equally spaced vertices. A star polygon is constructed by connecting a given sequence of points which are equally spaced on a circle. For example, if we have a star polygon 5, 2, the 5, the first number or the top number, tells us how many points are equally spaced on a circle. The second number tells you to connect every second point. So, for example, here we have five points, V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5 and we're going to connect every second point. So if we start from V1, we're going to skip V2, and we're going to connect V1 to V3. Then we're going to skip V4 and connect V3 to V5. Then we'll skip V1 and connect V5 to V2. Then we'll skip V3 and skip and connect V2 to V4. Last, we'll skip V5 and connect V4 to V1. So now we have our star polygon with five equally spaced points on a circle with the second point, every second point connected. Let's look at the question, how many star polygons are there with 10 vertices? To answer this question, let's look at all the different possibilities. So here we have 10 vertices with each point connected to the next point. So that's 10, 1. We have 10, 2, with 10 being 10 vertices equally spaced on a circle with the second point every second point connected. 10, 3 would be every third point connected. 10, 4 would be every fourth point connected. 10, 5 would be every fifth point connected. 10, 6, every sixth point connected. 10, 7, every seventh point connected. 10, 8, every eighth point connected. And then 10, 9 would be every ninth point connected. So let's look at these individually, starting with 10, 1. So 10, 1 is not a star polygon. It's just a polygon. It's just a 10-sided polygon. So this is a regular decagon. And then 10, 9 is, it's a copy of 10, 1. It's a duplicate. And we can tell they're duplicates by looking at them. But also, if we look at the numbers, we notice that the second numbers, 1, from 10, 1 and 9 from 10, 9. If we add the second numbers together, 1 plus 9, and that equals 10, the first number, then we know they're going to be copies of each other. So 10, 9 is also a regular decagon. So 10, 1 and 10, 9 are not star polygons, they're just polygons. So we can take these two off the board. So next, let's look at 10, 2. If we reduce 10, 2, it reduces to 5, 1. So 5, 1 is again, it's a polygon. It's not a star polygon. And here it's five equally sta spaced points on a circle with each one connected to the next one. So 10, 2 are two of these five gons, or two pentagons. If I take off the top pentagon, you can easy, it's easier to see the, the pentagon. So here's 5, 1, which is a pentagon, just a polygon with five sides. And a, whereas a 10, 2 will be two of these pentagons. The duplicate of this would be 10, 8. So 10, 8 
we can reduce down to 5, 4, which is again a regular pentagon. And 10, 8 is two of these regular pentagons. So these are not star polygons with 10 vertices. So we can take these two off the board. Next, we'll look at 10-3. Now, 10-3 is a star polygon with 10 vertices. We can tell it's a star polygon by looking at the numbers because these numbers, 10 and 3, are relatively prime. So that will be a star polygon with 10 vertices. Now, the duplicate of 10-3 is 10-7. 3 plus 7 is 10. So they're duplicates of each other. And normally with star polygons, when we're counting how many there are with a certain number of vertices, here 10, we don't count the duplicate. So we count 10, 3, but we won't count 10, 7. So I'm going to take 10, 7 off the board. So 10, 7 is the same star polygon as 10, 3. So we're going to take that off the board. Next, let's look at 10-4. 10-4 can be reduced to 5-2. And 5-2 is just a five vertices equally spaced on a circle with every second point connected. So actually 10-4 are two of these star polygons with five vertices with every second one connected. So let me let me take off the top the top one here because there's two of them. Let me take off the top one so then you can easier easily see that this is a five equally spaced vertices on a circle with every second one connected. So that's a five two, a ten four is just two of these together. Then the duplicate of ten four is ten six. So 10, 6 is equal to 5, 3 when we reduce it. So this is actually another star polygon with five vertices. So these are not star polygons with 10 vertices. They're two star polygons with five vertices. So we can take these off the board. Next, let's look at 10-5. 10 if we reduce it, we can reduce it to 2-1. 2-1 is simply two vertices with a line connecting them. So to see this better, let's take off these duplicates. So here you can see the two vertices with a line connecting them. So in other words, 2, 1 is a simple line segment. And then 10, 5 is 5 of these simple line segments. So this is not a star polygon with 10 vertices. So we can take this off the board. So how many star polygons are there with 10 vertices? There is only one.